Um, a guy who will not receive a check this week, no matter how he finishes, Greg, is putting on a show. Sam Bennett, the amateur, who is our reigning U.S. amateur champion, and he is – this is not a typo. Uh, he is currently in solo third with back-to-back 68, and he is absolutely – vibing around this place right now. He made five birdies on Friday, only one blemish on the card. It came on number four, the par three. Th- this kid's this kid's pretty impressive right now. Uh, yeah, legit. And again, that bogey is o- his only bogey of the week so far. And um, many a legend has walked through number four with a, with a four on the card. It's, it's really not a bad score on that hole. Um, so, Sam Bennett, I think, has played the the way that he has played is typically not what you see out of uh, out of rookies, masters, rookies, or debutantes, if you will. Um, it, he has kept the ball under the hole. He said that in a number of press conferences, and when you go back and watch the tapes, this has been stress free golf. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's not like Kepka, where it seems like every shot's coming down right on the flag. But every shot's coming down in the proper place, uh, and and it, he's made it look really easy in a way. Um, the other thing that has really stood out to me is his pace on the greens. Uh, he's had a couple of longer putts that he's left short, and when I say short, I mean inches short. Um, but for the most part, every putt he's hit has had a real chance. It's had a, a nice, aggressive holding speed without being reckless. So yeah, he, um, pretty. Pretty sweet watching him play this place. Yeah, he talked a lot about keeping the ball below the hole. He also talked about just like not making bogeys. He's like, my main objective every time I tee it up, I don't care where it is, is to not make any bogeys. And he's done a pretty good job of that thus far. He made one on Friday and zero on Thursday. So Sam Bennett has got himself in a great position to be in Butler Cabin. Maybe he'll be the only guy in Butler Cabin on Sunday night. Oh, I... You know, it's uh, hard to imagine that with with all these other big guns around. But look, he's he's four off the lead. Would would he's that be as well as anybody? Where would okay? Let's let's play this game. Sam Bennett wins the Masters. Um, where would that rank in terms of like all time great sporting moments? Oh man, I mean, better better or worse than Miracle on Ice. Ooh. Well, that that one is really it really hits home for me because it's mm-hmm. probably my favorite sporting moment of all time. You had, uh, you know, a, a political element in that as well. Also, amateurs versus pros. So I would probably say, but I don't know, in today's day and age, this is this would be crazy. The professional golf is so good right now. It's so good. I I would be stunned. I, Rick, I, I don't even know where I could honestly rank it. I would just be guessing. An amateur, be up there. An amateur has never won the Masters. I, I love the connection to the greatest amateur of all time, right? Bobby. Bobby. Jones, yes. Right. Um, and if he were to, I mean, I know there's, there's not many soft leaderboards you get at major championships, but this is like as deep as it gets when it's Kepka, Ron Morikawa, Hovland, Day, Burns, Spieth, Young, Woodland, Mickelson, ne- like rattle them off, baby. He yeah. All those guys, it would be, yeah, I don't know where it would rank either. I'd have to see like a list of like the great, but it was Be- better it than would, we met at, at the country club. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess probably because I, I think so. Because he was a young, athletic kid. I mean, like, listen, that era, obviously there were great golfers in that era, but there it was not nearly the, the, the depth that there is right now. No. Um, and as much as I love, I mean, I bought into all the Francis We Met stuff when we were at the country. Like, I was all in on that, but, like, this would be better. <laughs> it, it would be. Just because of the, just because of the time period. Yeah. And it's also the Masters. 